What's up guys? So it's my day off today and I decided to come down by the water and just kind of walk out here and sit by the water for a minute and enjoy it. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm also going to go over by a kayak launch that's around the corner and um, what does it say? No boat trailer. Okay. I'm also going to go to down by the water and I'm parking next to somebody. So bye. So I just met this nice older gentleman. I think I have hair in my gum. Oh, my thing is moving. But I just met this nice older gentleman that was here to take pictures of seagulls and the herrings, but apparently there's none here today. Um, I had a nice little conversation with him about the spots on the water in the area and nice places to fish, so that was nice. I'm getting ready to walk on down by there. There's quite a few older guys here fishing, so it's such a cute little spot. I found a trail and there's a bunch of bamboo. I love bamboo. I just want to see the view that this takes me to real quick. Because I can see it from the dock up over here on the water. And I sincerely apologize if it's shaky footage, guys. I'm not very used to this. These people are so lucky. Oh my god, these people legit live right on the water in these townhouses. That is so lucky. This is beautiful. I'm sure this is gorgeous on a warm summer day. What the heck? Steps right into the water. That's kind of cool, but scary as hell at the same time. Wow. That's just gorgeous. But this gives me too much anxiety. I gotta go. I have to come up here and carve my name in the bench as well as other people so it looks like as you go down there's a couple of sets of steps down into the water here's another one this one goes down into a little bit of rubbish on the end Beautiful driftwood tree here. Gorgeous. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and head back and drive over to the other kayak launch. I've seen what I needed to see here. Let's see what else there's to see. <laughs> Off of the main road here at what is, I believe, a kayak launch, a possible fishing spot. I'm gonna go this way first, then I'm gonna walk back up that way. I heard that this is a really nice place to go to fish and to get into the water to kayak because as you guys can tell, even though it is, you know, windy out, it's not as choppy of water because it's smaller, you know? And there's a gentleman right there fishing. It's, it's a nice little spot. It's beautiful. So it goes down pretty far, but I'm not gonna record this man. You come down here a lot to fish? This is my first time down here. Somebody told me to come check it out. Is it a good spot? Uh, at times. At times. Yeah. Yeah. Just wanted to come check it out. I was thinking of getting into kayaking. I've done it a little bit 
here and there. Somebody told me it's better to do it up in here than it is to go right out, you know, by the base down there. But is there, there's a little path that follows down this way. I'm gonna go check it out. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna check it out. I gotta watch where I'm stepping though, because if I fall and I drop my camera into this water, my husband will never forgive me. But you guys know I love a good nature walk and this is just perfect. So I will insert a little clip of the audio as well. Met a nice old man fishing. He showed me how to catch a little minnow for bait with this little bread and whatever trick. Um, going back to the car now. You could go along the side of the the creek there. Um, I don't know if that's a river or a creek. I assume it was a creek. I know it's part of the river, but it's a runoff, you know. So I will try to come back one day with somebody and enjoy this beautiful, peaceful spot right off of the road. I drive, I cross this bridge every day to go to work, so I'm glad I could discover this spot. So this place, guys, is actually right in the sand on the water. There's a lot of trash and alcohol free, unfortunately. As you know, people don't give a shit about the earth, but it's just really nice and peaceful down here. This is this has got to become one of my new spots this summer. It just goes right over to here. I love all the wood though. It's so peaceful. I'm going to walk up around the other way and show you the other side of the dock, but that's not in the sand. I'm going to sit here on this driftwood in the sand for a minute and reflect on life. So I had a sister-in-law call while I was sitting on my little tree stump in the sand and I've now left that location. I am now on a, I don't know what this is. It's like a agricultural reserve type place. There's bench area here that you can grill at. I've come and grilled here quite a few times. Um, down back that way, I don't know if you guys can see all the wooden fences. There's animals. And then if I show you guys in front of me, everything past these little trees is water. I am so embarrassed, guys. It's kind of breezy, like I said, but it's still like pretty warm. And I, don't, I can't really like see my screen too perfectly in the sun, but the sweat stains are real, guys. I had to take my leather jacket off because this shit's gotta dry so it can look good for the rest of the day instead of just making it worse and worse. But there are quite a few cars in this parking lot. So I don't really know how many people are going to be on this dock fishing. Um, if so, there is another way that way that I can walk and I will show you my happy place that I have filmed before down that way depending on if I want to walk or not. If you guys watch my rolling with the homies vlogs monthly, um, you guys will see in the month of April that I went on a run yesterday because I live down on a trail and um, I'm not a runner. So I kind of have like a feeling of like shin splints going on right now, but I wanted to come down by the water and film all of these lovely spots for you guys today. So I might not want to walk all the way down that way. My legs are kind of hurting bad today, but I'll show you guys enough of this without looking weird. So this is the opening here to the dock. And like I said, there are quite a few people up there. So I'm going to go down these steps right here, down to the bottom where unfortunately all of the trash always resides. So this is a very peaceful spot as well down here with all the driftwood and all the shells and the trash <laughs> right here under the dock. So beautiful. The sound of the water is making me have to pee, guys. This isn't okay. 
I'm about to go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna come back over here and resume filming because you girls gotta pee here in the sound of this water. Jeez Louise. I would have never thought in a, in a porta potty in Southern Maryland they'd have Purell and a mirror. Hi. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go back down to the water. I'm going to go back this way. I believe we walked down that. Is it right here on the shore? Or I, it might be back up that way. I don't really remember, guys. That's why I wanted to do this footage today because I want to remind myself of all of the wonderful places that I live around here by the water in lovely Southern Maryland. Yes, it was this way, I believe. You guys can't hear them clunking, but I know that this footage is super choppy and shaky as it is, so I'm sorry guys, but I'm just enjoying myself and I wanted to share my peaceful day with you all. Here we are, right here in front of the water. Yet again, lots of trash, but you make what you can out of what you got, right guys? I found a few pieces of sea glass at the other shore. It's all shells down here. I've always wanted to come down by the water and collect shells and make some kind of cool shell art that I could sell. But have I ever done that? No. I put my hair back down. <laughs> Country girls always got to try and be glamorous by the water. <laughs> It's always important to take a minute, guys, to come to a place like this and just sit quietly and listen to the waves, talk to yourself, meditate, talk to God, listen to music, write something, do whatever makes you feel at peace, because this is what God created this planet for us for, to find peace in it. I feel like there's some really cool like abstract shots I can take with these angles and stuff of the trees, but just don't know how to do it. I gotta get me a real camera. Like I said, other than the trash, all of the big tr down trees, it's just so beautiful and peaceful, guys. Always take a moment to appreciate God's glory. So I left the fourth and final location on the water. And I started getting a little bit emotional because I was, you know, sitting there reflecting and thinking with an open mind about, you know, life and struggles and things like that. So I didn't record when I got back in the car. Now I have run quite a few errands and I will be popping over to my in-laws house to see my little boogers. Booger one and booger two. So I didn't want to end this video without a closing but I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I plan to make some of my favorite spots this summer. I'm at my in-laws now, so I will catch you on the flip.